Welcome to the Newman Numismatic Portal, or rather, NNP for short. First of all, what is NNP? Our mission is simple to make as much numismatic reference material available to as many people as possible. We archive auction catalogs, books, periodicals, image collections, videos, you name it. If it would be helpful in any kind of numismatic research, we archive it. We're constantly expanding our content and working with new contributors to provide more avenues of research. We're funded by the Eric P. Newman Numismatic Education Society and administered through Washington University in St. Louis. Eric Newman was an avid numismatic researcher from the 1930s until his passing in 2017. His research was conducted in an old-school fashion, making personal trips to libraries and historical societies, personal correspondence with experts, and a large personal library. The NMP is carrying on his legacy by providing a new and more efficient method of research for future generations. So that's all fine and good, but how do you use it? Let's start off simple. For example, say you're doing some research on chain sense. If you're not looking for a particular publication, just type in the search bar. You'll get auction catalogs, pictures, articles, whatever has chain sense in the text. However, that can take quite a while to sift through, and if you know what you're looking for, it isn't the most efficient. If you're looking for a particular publication, it's much easier to find it using the library tab than a search. For example, let's see what's available by William Sheldon. We're searching by author, so go to his last initial, S, and scroll down. Some numismatic figures will have a short biography, which you can also find by going to Library People. In this case, Penny Whimsy is indexed on NNP, but is still in copyright. This means you won't be able to read the full publication on NNP, but snippets will show up in search results and give you an idea of whether or not you need to hunt down a copy. In a general search, you can go to the Advanced Search and eliminate restricted results. Continuing with large sense, suppose you wanted to find all mentions of the Sheldon 3 chain scent variety in Pennywise, the Journal of the Early American Coppers Club. From the advanced search page, enter S3 in the search box and Pennywise as the title. What about finding an auction catalog? Let's find the 2012 sale of the chain scent with periods that holds the auction record for the type at almost 1.4 million. It was from Heritage in the 2012 U.S. Coins and Platinum Night Fun Signature Auction. And there it is. To view it full screen, click the bottom right-hand corner and you'll be taken to the file. To avoid scanning through the whole catalog, simply search for what you're looking for. It will bookmark and highlight any instances of your search term, so you can scan through them quickly. Now that you've found it, you'll probably want to save the page for your records. The easiest way is to download a PDF of the whole document. You'll be able to open it on any computer and have access to the full record in case you need to cite it, or find that you need other pages from it as well. However, a PDF will compress the images a bit, and they won't look as sharp as you'd expect. Most of the time, this shouldn't be a problem, but if you need the sharpest images possible, and are a bit tech-savvy, download the single-page processed JP2 zip. It'll take a while to download, but it gives you each page as an individual JP2 file. You'll have to have special software to open them, but the images are a lot sharper. Going back to the library tab, there are other resources available as well. A large numismatic dictionary, for example, which includes some profoundly obscure terms from countless different languages. There are thousands of photos in the image library, including pictures of the entire Newman collection as auctioned, organized by lot number. Finally, you have multimedia, which includes video and audio recordings. It includes the David Lasso Video Library, which stretches back to 1986 and includes interviews and presentations with countless numismatic celebrities, such as John J. Pittman, Q. David Bowers, and Walter Breen. Let's look at a few seconds of a video with Eric P. Newman. These can be found from the advanced search page by selecting multimedia as the search type and Newman as the search term. Here's a brief excerpt from an interview with Newman from 1986. My life has been researching and writing original numismatic subjects, and that's been my pleasure for um, many, many years as an amateur uh, who has been engaged in other things. Uh, I educated as, a, as an engineer graduating from MIT and um, graduated from 
I Washington University Law School in St. Louis, and I've practiced law all my life uh, uh, for a uh, national chain of retail stores, the Edison Brothers Stores, Inc. So I've had a very full life of um, excitement in numismatics as a, uh, uh, as a cultural pursuit. Now that you're well acquainted, the homepage will keep you updated on recent editions and blog posts. Best of luck with your numismatic research.